Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this waterfall effect in twin motion. Let's get started. So I modeled this rocky river and my plan is because I have this change of elevation, I want to put a waterfall effect on this area. So to do that, you need to go here, go to objects and particles. We have a particle waterfall here. So we could put it right there. We just need to zoom in and place it properly. We need to scale it properly. And I'm just going to go around here. So I'm just scaling this. I'm seeing that it's too big. So I'm just putting right here. And then I'm clicking the tab to change from scale to move. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hold on shift and move it. This will create a copy. I'm going to set it to instance. So I'm going to copy around maybe five of this. And then I'm going to move it around. So I'm looking at my scene. I'm just going to move it a little bit down because I'm seeing that it's, it's still too high for some. So I think that's perfect. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a dripping water. This will provide an effect around here. And as you can see, it gives that splashing effect so i'm gonna hold shift again and then move it and then it will create a copy i'm gonna put it as instance so that anything that i change on one will be affected on all so i'm gonna make it around sixth and press ok and then i just need to move it around
So I'm going to move and copy more. And I'll create another one. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a small fog bank that will show a miss effect. So I put some small fog banks and ground fog banks here. So as you can see, it looks nicer. So by just adding waterfall, dripping water, and the fogs, you'll be able to create a waterfall effect on your rendering thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below